shaking my hand. He goes, I'm like, oh. So I hand him the fake game, and he opens it up and looks at it. He's like, quiet. Looks at the little cards and says, is this all about Richmond? And I'm like, yes, sir. It's all about Richmond. It's a trivia game based on He's like, closes it up, hands it back to me. And I'm like, do I bow? Do I, do I shake? Do I high five? Am I supposed, is that my exit? Is like, this guy, he starts writing on other papers. And I'm like, um, okay, well, thank you for your, he goes, let's start with 12 dozen. Let's call it gross. Let's start with a gross. 12 dozen, 144 games. And I'm like, well, thank you for your, sorry. And he said, let's start with 144 games, deliver them to the main warehouse. And I'm like, pull out my little receipt tablet thing <laughs> that I brought this copy. Draw up this thing. He signs it. Tallheimer's stamps it. Tallheimer's logo, the whole deal. And I go out to the streets of downtown Richmond, and I'm like an old movie with, uh, I'm just dancing around, you know, uh, um, utility poles and tap dancing on the street. I can't do it. And he's going, hell yes, yes. I'm all, I, I got this. I got this. Down the street on the Cobblestone Road, there's a bookstore called Fountain Bookstore. Okay? Another piece of Richmond that's relatively well known. I go into there, and I'm all jacked up now. And I'm like, hey, got this game. It's a Richmond product. It's all about Richmond. It'll be great for the store. And they're preparing for the Christmas season, right? So they got stuff coming in. And a uh, guy looks at the game very nice. And he goes, yeah, that's really kind of cool, but we just don't have room for it. And so, you know, thanks for coming in. And I'm like, hmm? Back down to earth, right? And I'm walking out, and my mind is like, and I'm walking out the door, and I turn back, and I say, hey, look, thanks for your time. Hope you guys have a great holiday season and do really well. And I op and I said, as I'm opening the door, and a, a chime rang above the door. And I'm like, uh, at least I have Tallheimers. Thank you. And I, get, I take one step out the door, and the guy goes, excuse me? And I said, tall, tall oh, at least I have Tallheimers. And he goes, Tallheimers is going to sell this? And I said, yeah. In fact, here's the first, here's the order. Uh, I didn't say first order. I said, here's a, an order. And they're ordering another 144. And he goes, let me see it again. And he looks at it. He goes, you know what? Give me a dozen. Write up a receipt for a dozen. And ladies and gentlemen who are listening, every store I walked into after that was the exact same way. I was rejected. 100% of the time. But when I took my steps toward the door, I said, oh, thank you, at least I have Tallheimers. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold. Round Trees Luggage and Gifts, which also was down here at the time. It's not that it would sell down here. They sold more than Tallheimers. They ended up taking like four dozen at the beginning. They ended up selling 388. Remember, I had run 25 of them, 2,500 of them. And so, yeah, it, it kept, it, I kept getting receipts. And I walked back at the Holy Brothers, and the guys were like, here comes that guy, he got order, he's got his money. And I'm like, they said, come back about the boxes. And I said, yes, sir. And he goes, all right, how's it going? And I went, whoop, 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 laid the receipts out. They looked at them. They're all verified. They're all signed. They're all stamped. They're all whatever. And he goes, when do you want to start? I got the credit to do the boxes from the six thousand ish dollars i had in receipts so they ran the boxes i got these non-tear plastic cards um, the boxes were delivered to my warehouse which is also known as my parents basement um, it was a maze of boxes me and my sister my oldest sister sandy she came over that night because it was late it's december 8th now we weren't going to get them out until december 9th because the cards were late i'm doing advertising on the radio as a master Communications major is one of the biggest things I wanted to do. Sandy and I put them all together. We load them on the truck. I mapped out the whole sequence, and I drive delivering these games on December 9th, 1985. And I get them into the stores, and get them into the store, and I mapped it out so that I got the full circle around Richmond. I'm in Lothian in Chesterfield County, and I'm pulling out, driving home, and my dad's pickup truck, my delivery vehicle, 
and it starts to snow really lightly. And I was, that's so poetic. That's so great. And I'm driving home, and I'm exhausted. We stayed up all night long. And I get home, and I walk in. We used to have these answering machines with a little flashing light, right? It wasn't voicemail. And I saw the light flash on my, my friends, one, two, whatever. And I plop down, and I'm like really, really just tired, but also thirsty. So I got up, went back to the kitchen to get a bottle of water or whatever was left over in the refrigerator, some orange juice or whatever. And I see the flashing light, and I'm like, all right, let's see what they're up to. I hit the, uh, the answer machine. Uh, yes, Mr. Crox, so this is Dale from Round Trees. We sold out of the game already, so if you could get us another four dozen uh, as quickly as you possibly can. Hey, Bo, this is Jim at um, Fountain Bookstore. They're gone already. We need another dozen. Hey, this is Mr. Jacobs from uh, Tallheimer's uh, downtown. We need another delivery downtown, but also if you could deliver them to the Westmoreland Center where we can distribute them, we need another 12 dozen. Everything is sold out. Everything was selling out. People were low on the games. They had three, four games left at that. I, I had done some radio advertising, and I didn't know how receptive we would be. Called my sister Sandy. Said, "You want to do that again?" We stayed up all night again that night. Did it again. Put the games out. I learned more about economics and economics process than I ever learned in my econ 101 or 102. Um, by the time it was all done, it sold about 2,230-ish games that Christmas season. Um, and took the money that I made off of doing that, bought a sound system and a DJ setup, and had a, a, a DJ business in Richmond for 10 years. And the only reason I gave that up, which I shouldn't have, was uh, I got my first varsity basketball job. But DJing was weekends, summertime, and holidays, which fits perfectly with teaching when I'm not on summertime, weekends, and holidays. So the game is called Shaco. The trivia game in Metropolitan Richmond. And it is right there. Um, I was going to, there were people who were calling radio stations to get my information. Like the little old ladies I told about down on Monument Avenue. They were inviting me to, to Christmas parties, Christmas gatherings, and wanted me to sign games.